Ling Yun travels through the world of immortals and knights, becoming a young man in the Grass Temple village under Qin Yin's sect, and receiving a gift from the Heavenly Way. The Ability to Defy the Heavens After washing the Grass Temple village with blood, Pu Ji was taken back to Qin Yin Gate and worshipped at Xiaozhu Peak, becoming a disciple of Shui Yue. From then on, Xia Xufeng had an additional demon disciple, and Lu Sueki had an additional junior brother. You observe the Xianqing Dao of Tai Chi and comprehend the Dao Jing of the Heavenly Covering Technique. You practice the Divine Sword Thunder Control Technique and comprehend the Thunder Emperor's Treasure Technique. You fight against Lin Jingyu, he uses the Dragon Slaying Sword Technique and comprehends the True Dragon Treasure Technique. Lu Sueki Only such a stunning person can be worthy of me. Dao Xian Immortal who is the peak at the end of the immortal path? When I see Ling Yun Road, it becomes empty. Ling Yun. Heaven and earth are not benevolent, they treat all things as cut dogs. My heart is kind, and I teach the way of eternal life in the world. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Joining Xia Xiufeng and Learning from Master Shueyue You are listening at NovelFull.audio In front of me was a spacious hall, with seven chairs placed at the top, but only one chair was vacant. Ling Yun, on the other hand, found himself kneeling on the ground with a figure on one side that was thin and sorrowful. Tian Junior Brother, I see that both of these people were discovered by your disciples. Why don't these two disciples worship your Daju Peak? At this moment, a majestic voice sounded and Ling Yun looked up. The speaker was sitting on the front seat, wearing a dark green Taoist robe with a stern face. After hearing this, Tian Bai stood up in confusion and looked at Zhang Xiaofan and Ling Yun, feeling naturally displeased in his heart. There were three people brought back, among whom Lin Jingyu had excellent talent, but unfortunately he had already been snatched by Dragon Head Peak. As for the remaining two people, Zhang Xiaofan, who was a bit older, did not possess any talent, and as for the remaining one, they were almost the same. Tian Bai, who looked embarrassed, looked at the leader. Senior brother leader, I am already mediocre in Daju Peak. Adding these two people now may be. As the head of the sect, Dao Xianjinren also recognized the meaning behind Tian Bai's words and immediately turned his gaze to another figure. What Tian Junior Brother said is good. I think Shueyue Junior Sister will also accept one person, how about it? The Water Moon Master of Xia's Yufeng furrowed his eyebrows slightly, and his gaze fell on the two young figures. After staring for a moment, Shueyue stood up and saluted the Taoist Immortal. Since the head senior brother personally spoke up, junior sister, I will take one person to Xia Xufeng. Immediately, Xue Yu's gaze fell on Ling Yun. Ling Yun, are you willing to become my disciple of Xiaozhu Peak? Ling Yun, who was not yet familiar with it, nodded in confusion before getting up and leaving the main hall together with Xue Yu. Arriving outside the main hall, accompanied by a refreshing breeze, Ling Yun finally realized. I have traveled through time. Ling Yun, who had suffered from illness in his past life, lay in bed all year round and relied on novels to pass the time. And the immortal world he possesses is exactly what he yearns for. Flying with a sword, unleashing various magical spells. The world before him is similar to the content of a book he has read. I just didn't expect that my current self would really come into such a world. At this moment, a memory emerged in Ling Yun's mind. This place is called Saumyao Village, which is a small village at the foot of Kinjianmen Mountain. Ling Yun's parents were just ordinary farmers, but later passed away due to a strange illness, leaving Ling Yun alone at a young age. Fortunately, the people in Saumyao Village were kind, so they raised the young Ling Yun separately. The good times didn't last long. Puji monk from Tianin Temple was influenced by the bloodthirsty pearl and washed the village of Tsaumyao with blood. And all that survived in Tsaumyao village were Ling Yun, Lin Jingyu, and Zhang Xiaofan. 
The last three were rescued by the members of Qinyan Gate, and then they were brought back to Qinyan Gate. Among the three, only Lin Jingyu had exceptional talent and was the first to be adopted as an apprentice by the Tsangsong Taoist from Longzhou Peak. Zhang Xiaofan and Ling Yun have ordinary talents. If it weren't for this leader's words, no one would have wanted to keep them. Noticing the change in Ling Yun's expression, Xu Yu's face remained expressionless, and her beautiful eyes only looked lightly. In her eyes, Ling Yun's expression just now was dazed and had not fully recovered from the bloody scene. Now that he had some energy, he must have had some thoughts. After joining my Xiaozhu peak, I obediently practiced. Even if I had no cultivation talent, I could still be a miscellaneous disciple at Xiaozhu peak and spend the rest of my life in peace. Although she took Ling Yun as her teacher, Xu Yu did it just to deal with her senior brother in charge. Ling Yun was already a little excited in his heart, perhaps he could fly with a sword like in the book. I understand. You have traveled to the world of immortality and chivalry, received gifts from the will of heaven, and gained the ability to defy heaven at this moment, an ethereal voice rang out in Ling Yun's mind, causing him to be slightly stunned. Quickly, he reacted and felt even greater joy in his heart, realizing that it was his golden finger. I saw Shueyue take out a long sword and suspend it in front of her, then step onto it and look towards Ling Yun. What are you doing in a daze? Why don't you come up yet? Ling Yun's eyes were already filled with envy, not expecting that he could enjoy the treatment of flying with a sword when he first came to this world. Yes, master. Ling Yun quickly jumped onto the long sword. Shueyue still didn't show much liking for this disciple, just rolled up her sleeves and stood in front of Ling Yun. Seize it, otherwise you'll fall down. I won't save you. Upon hearing the sound, Ling Yun immediately grabbed the sleeve handed over by Shue Yu. In an instant, the long sword pierced through the air. Above the long sword, the surrounding sea of clouds flows by. You soar through the air, shuttle between the clouds and seas, trigger your anti-heavenly understanding, and comprehend the art of flying with a sword, Ling Yun was pleasantly surprised, and I thought that the so dot called supernatural understanding was just a way to gain insight in practice and make rapid progress in practice. I just didn't expect it to be so simple. Immediately after, all the relevant content about the art of flying with a sword appeared in my mind. Ling Yun suddenly felt like he had divine assistance, and he had a deep understanding of the art of wielding swords. The technique of imperial swordsmanship is not a rare technique in this world. Each strength has its own way of cultivation and also has its own flaws. But Ling Yun's understanding of the art of wielding swords is different and can be said to be flawless. This even made Ling Yun feel an urge to try. A moment later, Xiaozhu Peak. Bamboo forests are everywhere, and there are Qianglu and Yuyu at the peak. Surrounded by a sea of clouds, it looks like a fairyland. This is Xiaozhu Peak. From now on, you will practice here. I will introduce you to your senior brothers and sisters later, and arrange a place for you to live. Then, I will go and get your fitted clothes. As for future cultivation, I will have your senior brothers and sisters lead me. The sword stopped steadily on the ground, and Ling Yun followed the water and moon down from the sword. When Ling Yun saw Shue Yu about to enter the palace in front of him, he hesitated and decided to reveal his talents. Because only in this way can he obtain more cultivation techniques through his extraordinary insight, rather than just a sword defense technique. Only by showcasing his own talents can he gain the recognition and importance of this master. So he bowed and stopped Shue Yue, while immediately saying, Master, just now the disciple saw Master flying with his sword and seemed to have an epiphany. Upon hearing the sound, Shue Yue stopped in her tracks, her eyes flashing with surprise. She turned to look at Ling Yun, but a hint of anger rose in her eyes. Ling Yun, as a teacher, I don't like arrogant people the most. You just saw me wielding the imperial sword technique. How did you have that epiphany? I really thought that as a teacher, I wouldn't dare to punish you. Ling Yun remained calm and continued, saying. Master, 
what the disciples said is true and I do have some insights into the art of imperial swordsmanship. If Master doesn't believe it, why not give it a try? If what the disciples say is false, it's not too late for the Master to punish them again, is it? Chapter 2 Understanding the Heavenly Adventures and Understanding the Sword Technique You are listening at NovelFull.audio Shui Yue looked at Ling Yun's serious expression before her, and it didn't seem like she was lying. Is it difficult for this person to truly have an epiphany? Although she didn't believe it, Shui Yue still took out her sword and handed it to Ling Yun. Ling Yun, as a teacher, I would like to remind you that if you dare to deceive me, I will definitely not spare you. Master, rest assured that I will not deceive Master. The scene flashed through Ling Yun's mind just now when Shui Yu used the technique of wielding a sword, and he immediately began to learn it with great enthusiasm. In Shui Yu's eyes, Ling Yun's approach is nothing but ridiculous. Although it has its form, it has no reality. Ling Yun is ultimately just an ordinary person, who has not yet opened up a fertile land to build a foundation and cannot accommodate the spiritual energy of this world. Without spiritual energy, what is the art of wielding swords? Just as she was about to stop Ling Yun's actions, her beautiful eyes suddenly flashed with surprise. I saw Ling Yun's body gathering rich spiritual energy, and the surrounding spiritual energy was converging and absorbing towards him. Feeling the flow of spiritual energy in heaven and earth, you comprehend the method of accommodating spiritual energy, at first, Ling Yun was not accustomed to using spiritual energy. However, in a moment, Ling Yun had already been able to freely use the spiritual energy around his body. After using it for a week, he was able to accommodate himself with the spiritual energy. The Realm of Building Foundations Immediately, as Ling Yun attempted to infuse spiritual energy into his long sword. I saw the long sword slip out of my hand and instantly hover in mid-air before my eyes. As Ling Yun's sword fingers moved, the sword obediently followed suit. Such a scene also shook Rao, who had always been calm, immensely. When she was still in the Yuching Palace, she had already noticed that Ling Yun's own muscles and veins had not been connected, so she should be just an ordinary person and unable to cultivate. In terms of qualifications, perhaps he is just a bit more powerful than Zhang Xiaofan. But now it seems that she has taken a wrong look. Not only did she misread, but everyone else did the same. Ling Yun's talent is incomparable to that of ordinary disciples. Instantly building a foundation, one can comprehend the art of wielding swords with just one glance. With such talent, who can compare to the entire Qinyan sect? I didn't expect this unintentional move to even pick up a treasure. Shui Yue revealed a satisfied smile and expressed deep admiration for Ling Yun. Under the control of Ling Yun, the long sword remained suspended in mid-air without any movement. This looks like Ling Yun is not practicing the art of imperial swordsmanship for the first time. It is absolutely impossible for people in Kekoomio village to have access to the art of imperial swordsmanship. So these thoughts gradually dissipated. At the moment when Shui Yue was lost in thought, only Ling Yun's voice could be heard. Master, I can still control other swords. Upon hearing these words, Shui Yue's eyes couldn't help but be filled with astonishment once again. Looking at Ling Yun, she didn't want to believe it. In the art of imperial swordsmanship, most beginners can only control one flying sword, and for those who are quite talented, two swords are already the limit. Is Ling Yun's talent truly amazing? After hesitating for a moment, Shui Yue still chose to believe in Ling Yun and immediately took out two flying swords. Before it was handed over, it was already pulled away by a spiritual energy. Three flying swords suspended in front of the clouds, moving with the sword's command. However, Ling Yun still had a relaxed expression, as if his spiritual energy was inexhaustible. Seeing this, Shui Yue drew her long sword again. In the blink of an eye, Ling Yun had already controlled eight flying swords to hover in front of him. Even Shui Yue couldn't help but take a cold breath to calm her heart and shock. 
simultaneously controlling eight flying swords, even the core disciples of Dragon Head Peak cannot achieve this. What kind of demon did you actually accept? Master, are you still satisfied? Not bad, you really surprised me. How could Shueyue be dissatisfied? Master, you have returned. A pleasant shout came, and then a figure of Jew Magnesium walked out of the palace. The woman's skin is like jade, her appearance is absolutely magnesium, and her pink and red lips exude a charming smile. Her body movements are light, and she has just arrived at Shueyue's side in a moment. Just as she was about to continue speaking, her beautiful eyes suddenly flashed with surprise. It was not until then that she noticed the eight flying swords suspended in front of a young man of her age. Simultaneously controlling eight flying swords. Even though she has been known as the genius of Xiaoxiufeng since childhood, she can only wield two flying swords at the same time. Lu Sueki was surprised for a long time before she finally faded and looked at the figure of the master on one side. Master, who is this? This is Ling Yun, and he will be your junior brother from now on. Shue Yue smiled politely and immediately introduced herself to Ling Yun. Ling Yun, this is Lu Sueki. From now on, you can call her senior sister. In addition, if you have any doubts about your cultivation, you can also ask her, or you can also ask the teacher. Shue Yue's heart was filled with expectations. She had originally thought that Lu Sueki's talent was already extremely high, and her future achievements would definitely surpass hers. But now the appearance of Ling Yun has deepened his expectations in his heart. Ling Yun's future achievements will be limitless. Such talent is naturally valued by her as a master. Ling Yun, as soon as you arrived at Xiaozhu Peak, I asked Sueki to take you down and rest first. Tomorrow, I will teach you the true martial arts of the two of you. After speaking, Shue Yue looked at Lu Sueki with awe in her watery eyes. Shue Qi, Ling Yun will temporarily reside in the courtyard next to you, okay? Everything is arranged by the master. Lu Sueki quickly adjusted her emotions, revealing a shallow smile and looking at Ling Yun, saying, Brother Ling, come with me. Ling Yun nodded and immediately withdrew the eight flying swords in front of him. After returning the swords to Shue Yu, he left with Lu Sueki. The population of Xiaoxiufeng is not large, and most of them are female disciples. However, due to Lu Sueki's talent, their appearance has attracted a lot of attention. Junior sister, who is this? A woman in her early twenties couldn't help but ask in a voice. The disciple that my master just received, named Ling Yun. Ling, this is second senior sister. Lu Sueki earnestly introduced. Ling Yun has seen second senior sister before, Ling Yun said with a graceful bow second senior sister smiled with satisfaction and watched as the two of them left. Lu Sueki's residence is located behind many palaces in Xiaozhu Peak. After passing by a lush bamboo forest, she finally arrived. There are several separate courtyards located here, and Lu Sueki quickly introduced Ling Yun into one of the bamboo houses. The bamboo house is clean and tidy, and it is obvious that people often clean it. Brother Ling, I live next door. If you have anything to do, you can call me anytime. Ling Yun looked at Lu Sueki without leaving any trace, and compared to his impression, Lu Sueki was much more beautiful. Although he is of similar age, he already has the appearance of a beautiful embryo. Looking back, Ling Yun bowed slightly. Thank you for taking care of me, senior sister. I know. Lu Sueki seemed to be hesitant to speak, watching Ling Yun for a moment before turning around and leaving the bamboo house. Ling Yun took a deep breath and sat down on the couch inside the room, then tried to sense the rich spiritual energy inside his body. I didn't expect it to be so easy. Chapter 3 Lu Sueki, cultivate the Xianqing Dao of Tai Chi You are listening at NovelFull.audio As dusk approaches, a gentle breeze floats and bamboo leaves fall. In the courtyard, Ling Yun sat cross-legged on the ground, and with the guidance of Lu Sueki, he quickly mastered the method of his spiritual energy. 
spiritual energy flows around your body, you understand the method of accommodating the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, the familiar voice rang out again, and as Ling Yun operated the method of accommodating, he saw that the spiritual energy of the surrounding world was being crazily absorbed. Lu Sweki, who was originally observing on the side, immediately changed her expression when she noticed Ling Yun's actions. Is my junior apprentice planning to completely absorb the spiritual energy of the entire Xiaozhu peak? But after a moment, the absorption of spiritual energy came to a sudden halt. I saw Ling Yun slowly opening his eyes, fully observing his own changes. Both its qi and blood, as well as its roots and bones, have undergone earth-shattering changes. As for the absorption of spiritual energy, Ling Yun was forced to terminate. After all, truly absorbing the spiritual energy of this small bamboo peak may cause considerable trouble. Suddenly, Ling Yun seemed to notice something and looked to one side. I saw Lu Sweki curiously looking at herself, until her eyes met. It was then that Lu Sweki withdrew her gaze with a hint of nervousness on her face. White and tender hands with their backs behind them, pretending to be indifferent and tilting their heads to one side. Seeing such a Lu Sweki, Ling Yun couldn't help but smile. In his impression, shouldn't Lu Sweki be a towering figure? One night passed. The next morning, the sun rises eastward and the clouds and mist disperse. Ling Yun had already woken up early, while Lu Sweki was waiting outside the door. Today, Lu Sweki is dressed in a light purple sect attire, standing tall and graceful. Brother Ling, Master has sent a message to me to take you along. Thank you, Senior Sister Lu. Along the way, the two of them did not speak. Ling Yun could only feel that Lu Sweki was occasionally peeking at him, perhaps due to his own illusion. Upon arriving at the palace where Shueyue lived, she saw Shueyue, dressed in a robe, waiting for the two of them for a long time. Shueyue stood up and also noticed the changes in Ling Yun compared to yesterday. Her spiritual power had become even more powerful. Such talent, even though she is a master, cannot be envied. Ling Yun, you probably don't know the realm of cultivation yet, do you? Ling Yun nodded, and now all he knew was the realm of the golden elixir. Besides, he doesn't know. Shui Yu patiently explained, the nine realms of cultivation are qi cultivation, foundation building, golden elixir, yuan ing, transforming spirit, refining emptiness, unity, Mahayana, and crossing calamity. The technique that I will teach you too as a teacher is called Tai Chi Xian Qing Dao Dot. I originally planned to only teach this technique to Sweki alone. Shui Yue's words stopped and her gaze fell once again on the two of them. Lu Sweki has excellent talent and is an excellent candidate for practicing the Xian Qing Dao of Tai Chi. Since entering Xiaozhu Peak, Lu Sweki has been laying the foundation for practicing the Xianqing Dao of Tai Chi. Several years have passed, and Lu Sweki has successfully laid the foundation. Before the age of 16, Lu Sweki was the first person to build a foundation in Xiaozhu Peak. Of course, this was before Ling Yun arrived. Now that Ling Yun has arrived, she has instantly crossed the realm of Qi cultivation and directly entered the realm of foundation building. Such talent is unmatched by Lu Sweki. Therefore, she plans to teach Ling Yun the simultaneous interpreting of Taiji Xianqing Taoism. Tai Chi Xianqing Dao is the strongest martial art within Qingyun sect, and it takes several years for ordinary disciples to break through one level. Would you two be willing to practice it? Lu Sweki nodded without hesitation. I am willing. Ling Yun followed closely behind and immediately agreed, I am also willing to practice. After receiving their agreement, Shui Yue nodded satisfactorily and then took out the Tai Chi Xianqing Dao technique. Although I can guide you, I still want you to understand the content on your own. I believe that you too will not disappoint me. After speaking, Shui Yue looked at the two again. Lu Sweki suddenly pushed Ling Yun out, and Ling Yun immediately understood and took the technique with both hands. It wasn't until Ling Yun and the others left that Shui Yu's expression softened. Tai Chi Xianqing Dao divides its realm into three major levels. 
Yuching, Taiching, and Shangqing. And these three levels correspond to nine cultivation levels, among which there are nine levels divided. Within the Qinyan Gate, some people practice the Xianqing Dao of Tai Chi for a lifetime, but only stay in the Yuching realm without any progress. If a person lacks talent, they may have practiced for decades and only stay at the first level of the Jade Clear realm without moving forward. As for the extent to which Ling Yun and Lu Sueki can reach in the future, she doesn't know either. Everything can only rely on one's own perception. The Tai Chi Xianqing Dao contains too many mysteries, and perhaps one can also comprehend a different Dao from it on their own. The matter of Ling Yun cannot be told to the head senior brother, otherwise it may cause others to rob him. The other person referred to is naturally Long Zhou Peak. Long Zhou Peak is the head of the Seven Peaks, and its elder, Sang Song Taoist, wished to collect all the talented disciples of the peaks. Ling Yun followed Lu Sueki to the bamboo forest behind Xiaozhu Peak. This place is quiet, and because it is the residence of my master, no one dares to disturb me during normal times. However, Ling Yun did not immediately look at the Tai Chi Xianqing Dao in his hand, but instead looked at Lu Sueki in front of him. Senior Sister Lu, do you think cultivation can lead to longevity? This is the issue that Ling Yun is most concerned about, and it was also something he thought about all night last night. For him in the past, he was terminally ill and could die at any moment, but now he has entered the path of cultivation and naturally cares about the matter of immortality. After careful consideration, Lu Sueki shook her head. No, I have also asked my master before, practicing can only prolong one's life, surviving for hundreds or even thousands of years, but cannot achieve longevity. Ling Yun felt a little unwilling and continued to ask, Senior sister, do you know what kind of realm the realm above the crossing robbery is? Lu Sueki shook her head again and said somewhat helplessly, Some people say that she has transformed into an immortal, but no one has reached that level so far. However, for now, I only want to practice the Xianqing Dao of Tai Chi Ling Yun, who understood Lu Sueki's meaning, couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed. It seemed that he had thought too much about it at the moment. So, he opened the Xianqing Road of Tai Chi, and Lu Sueki immediately came to his side to watch together. The Xianqing Dao of Tai Chi was left by the founder of Qingyun sect, Qingye, and it contains profound content. For Lu Sueki, although she has exceptional talent, she cannot comprehend the content in a short period of time. You possess the profound and pure Tai Chi teachings, triggering an anti-heavenly understanding and gaining insight into its mysteries, from which you can comprehend the heavenly covering technique. Dao Jing The heavenly covering technique Dao Jing As a result, a strange cultivation system flooded into Ling Yun's mind. Unlike ordinary cultivation methods, practicing the Daoist scriptures can greatly absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth for personal use, allowing one to rapidly improve their own realm. Chapter 4 Entering the realm with speed, Lu Sueki cultivates the Taoist scriptures. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In contrast, the Xianqing Dao of Tai Chi is indeed good, but its cultivation speed is too slow making it easier to comprehend the Tao Jing, and its cultivation speed is also faster. On one side, Lu Sueki had already sat cross-legged, using the cultivation method of Tai Chi Xianqing Dao to activate her body's qi and blood. Ling Yun couldn't bear to disturb Lu Sueki's cultivation, so he left the Xianqing Dao of Tai Chi beside her and then stood up to find another place to practice. Practicing in the way of Taoist scriptures, the speed of realm improvement is indeed extremely fast, and the devouring of surrounding spiritual energy is also astonishing. In the blink of an eye, January has passed. Lu Sueki is already exceptionally talented. After one month of cultivation, she has reached the fourth level of the Jade Clear Realm. Such progress is already remarkable for others. However, what Lu Sueki didn't understand was that she had rarely seen Ling Yun's figure since January. I wonder how Brother Ling's cultivation is now. A hint of pride appeared in Lu Sueki's beautiful eyes, and a proud smile gradually began to outline. For her own cultivation talent, 
Lu Sweki has absolute confidence. In terms of cultivation, she possesses astonishing insight. Perhaps Ling Yun's talent is not inferior to hers, but in practicing the Xianqing Dao of Tai Chi, Ling Yun is destined to be inferior to him. With such thoughts in mind, Lu Sweki decided to go and see how Ling Yun's cultivation is now. Perhaps she needed her guidance and guidance from this young junior brother. At this moment, Ling Yun is located deep in the bamboo forest, where there is a round stone that is suitable for Ling Yun's cultivation. For a month now, Ling Yun has been using the cultivation methods in the Daoist scriptures to practice, which is like divine assistance and has greatly improved his realm. If divided by the realm of Tai Chi Xianqing Dao, he should have already entered the eighth level of Yuqing by now. In terms of cultivation realm, he can also be considered as stepping into the realm of Golden Elixir. Such a body is incomparable to others. Brother Ling, how are you doing in your cultivation? Lu Sweki came with her hands down, her eyes full of arrogance. Upon hearing the sound, Ling Yun seemed to have stopped practicing, revealing a faint smile. Senior Sister Lu, I have gained quite a lot and have stepped into the eighth level of the Yuqing realm. Upon hearing these words, Lu Sweki, who was about to show off, was instantly stunned. Yuqing realm, eighth level. Isn't that already the gathering of the golden elixir? reaching the pinnacle of the golden elixir. But I'm only on the fourth level, junior brother Lu, are you telling the truth? Lu Sweki didn't believe it and immediately spoke up to ask. Ling Yun nodded seriously and immediately released his own realm aura. In an instant, the terrifying spiritual wave swept through like a strong wind, causing Lu Sweki to feel even more pressure. She took several steps back and was forced to distance herself from Ling Yun. This is actually true. At this moment, Lu Sweki also had to believe what Ling Yun said. Ling Yun had indeed entered the eighth level of the Jade Clear Realm. Such insight also left her deeply moved. Her original arrogance and confidence were completely gone. She lightly bit her red lips, and in front of Ling Yun, she inexplicably suffered a blow. Noticing the emotional changes of Lu Sweki, Ling Yun immediately withdrew the spiritual power fluctuations around him and quickly comforted him. Senior Sister Lu, don't worry, maybe it's just my good luck. Lu Sweki stared at Ling Yun with complex eyes for a long time before biting her red lips lightly and immediately said. Brother Ling, I will definitely catch up with you. After speaking, Lu Sweki turned around and left directly. Ling Yun gave a bitter smile. Is it really possible that Lu Sweki can catch up with her? The answer is naturally impossible. He has an incredible understanding, and his cultivation speed has slowed down. Otherwise, he might have entered the second realm by now. The practice of practicing in the Daoist scriptures has indeed made rapid progress, and in the future, no one will be able to compare it to this practice. Longevity may not be impossible. Xiaozhu Peak in the quiet hall. Sitting on a cattail, Shui Yu slowly opened her eyes and couldn't help but imagine the figures of two disciples. Over the past month, she has also personally visited the place where the two of them practiced. She was not surprised by Lu Sweki's cultivation and comprehension speed, everything was within his expectations. For Lu Sweki, within a hundred years, her achievements will surely surpass those of her master. But when she saw Ling Yun, she was once again shocked. Just because Ling Yun's cultivation method seems to be the Xianqing Dao of Tai Chi, but upon closer inspection, there seems to be a difference, different. And Ling Yun's progress is even more astonishing. It's just a month, and Ling Yun's speed has reached such a point. It seems that in the future, there will definitely be a genius in my Qin Yun sect who can surpass the world. Shui Yue originally thought that with Ling Yun's talent, it would take at least a year or two to successfully enter the third level of the Jade Clear Realm by practicing Tai Chi Xianqing Dao. Therefore, this level is the true beginning of cultivation. But when she went to check, within a few days, Ling Yun had already stepped into the third layer of the Jade Clear Realm. How could this master not be surprised by her speed? 
Can this Ling Yun really achieve the ultimate cultivation of the Xian Qing Dao of Tai Chi? It seems that no one has reached such a state beyond the founder of Qinyun Gate, Qinya, who has reached the pinnacle of cultivation. Without much thought about it, Shui Yue began her own cultivation once again. She also practices Tai Chi Xian Qing Dao and has now entered the sixth level of Tai Chi. Half a month has passed in the blink of an eye, and Ling Yun, with his extraordinary intelligence, has successfully arrived at the ninth level of the Tai Chi realm, just one step away from the Jade Clear realm. However, in the practice of Daoist scriptures, further progress requires special essence and blood to assist. Just as Ling Yun didn't know how to solve this matter, a beautiful shadow caught his eye. The person who came was Lu Sweki. Compared to half a month ago, Lu Sweki seems to have made some breakthroughs at this time, but her cultivation speed has slowed down a lot. Seeing Ling Yun, Lu Sweki gritted her lips with silver teeth, revealing an expression of difficulty in speaking. Senior Sister Lu, but do you need my help with something? Lu Sweki hesitated for a long time before reluctantly nodding. Ling, I have reached the fourth level, but I am unable to improve on the cultivation method leading to the fifth level. Therefore, I would like to ask Ling for some guidance. Speaking, Lu Sweki lowered her head with a hint of unease. Although she is the senior sister, now she ends up asking this junior brother for advice. If it were to be spread, I'm afraid I would be ridiculed by the senior brothers and sisters inside Xiaozhu Peak. Ling Yun didn't think much about these things, just smiled and said. It doesn't matter, you're already my senior sister, so it's appropriate to ask each other for advice. But Ling Yun quickly hesitated again, only because he was practicing the Dao Jing, not the Tai Chi Xian Qing Dao. If it were spoken directly, with Lu Sweki's intelligence, one would surely be able to detect any inaccuracies. Why not just recite the Taoist scriptures and practice together with Lu Sweki in the future? Anyway, Lu Sweki is honest and trustworthy. Chapter 5 Longevity Thoughts, Water and Moon Startled You are listening at NovelFull.audio So, Ling Yun said seriously, Sister Lu, while practicing the Xian Qing Dao of Tai Chi, I learned a set of other martial arts called the Dao Jing from it. Her cultivation speed is even faster than that of Tai Chi Xian Qing Dao. Is Senior Sister Lu interested? Upon hearing this, Lu Sweki's bright eyes suddenly flashed with envy. At least she was unable to comprehend other martial arts techniques from it. Unable to conceal her heart, Lu Sweki nodded in response. Brother Ling, may I hear more about it? Ling Yun nodded and then came to Lu Qishue's side, speaking out the contents of the Daoist scriptures he had comprehended one by one. And Lu Sweki already had good talent. With Ling Yun's notification, Lu Sweki quickly jotted down the contents one by one. Then he began to practice diligently according to the content. However, two days later, Lu Sweki was surprised to find that her cultivation speed was indeed much faster than that of practicing Tai Chi Xian Qing Dao, and she couldn't help but be overjoyed. Junior Brother Ling, he is really skilled in practicing the Daoist scriptures. Senior Sister, only you and I know this technique well, and we cannot let others know it again. Ling Yun smiled and reminded. I have come to understand the Tao Sutra myself, and I believe that Lu Sweki will be able to listen to this. Once my master Shui Yue finds out, it may be difficult to deceive me. Perhaps I will still be seen as a lost superpower, and there will be a lot of trouble then. After all, not everyone can take a different path from the Xian Qing Dao of Tai Chi. Lu Sweki felt lost in thought and saw Ling Yun's trust in her. She immediately nodded seriously and agreed. At this moment, Ling Yun stood up. Senior sister is good at cultivating here. I will go and see your master. I have something to ask. Okay. Ling Yun quickly left the bamboo forest and arrived outside the palace where Shui Yu lived, familiar with the way. After tidying up his shirt and robe, Ling Yun bowed his hand. Master, Disciple Ling Yun seeks to see you. What's up? The sound of water and moon floating lightly came from inside the door. 
I have something to discuss with my master. Come on in. In the palace, sandalwood is swirling and the fragrance enters the nose. As soon as Ling Yun entered, the door behind him had quietly closed. Shui Yue, who was quietly practicing on the Putuan, slowly opened her eyes and soon a surprise appeared in her eyes. But it hasn't been seen for half a month, and your level of realm seems to have improved again. This is all due to senior sister Lu's guidance. Shui Yue was skeptical and did not continue to inquire. He directly asked, what do you have? Just tell me. I don't know if Master believes in the path of immortality in this world. Upon hearing this, a hint of surprise flashed in Shui Yue's beautiful eyes, and then she angrily said. Ling Yun, as a teacher, I know that your talent is unparalleled, but the path of immortality already exists in the realm of illusion. You must not go astray because of this. Ling Yun's face remained calm, while also pleased that this master was thinking for himself. Master misunderstood, I'm just curious. Shui Yue's anger in her heart finally subsided, and she patiently explained, who wouldn't want to live forever. Longevity is no different from the legendary immortal, and the immortal is just a legend of time. Ling Yun pondered for a moment and remembered the content of the Taoist scripture, which seemed to be heading towards the path of becoming immortal. And the required essence and blood are precisely used to refine the physical body, making it surpass that of ordinary cultivators. As for this essence, it is not the essence of ordinary ferocious beasts, but requires the essence of ancient bloodlines. By using this type of essence and blood as a supplement, combined with the cultivation methods in the Taoist scriptures, one can refine the physical body and give it a special cultivation physique, thus bringing it closer to the path of immortality. After regaining his senses, Lin Yun hesitated slightly before speaking out and asking. Master, if a practitioner can possess their special physique, can they be closer to the path of immortality? Shui Yue was slightly stunned, and Ling Yun's words made her feel surprised again. Due to the fact that a special physique is extremely lacking, it seems that Qin Yun Gate has never heard of such a thing since its establishment for thousands of years. But how did Ling Yun know about this when he was so young? How did you know about your physical condition? Ling Yun had already come up with an excuse for this issue. I would like to inform you, Master. This is just a sudden realization that my disciple has gained while practicing the Xian Qing Dao of Tai Chi. If a person has a special physique for cultivation, their cultivation speed and strength will definitely far exceed ordinary cultivators, but the disciples don't know if the legendary immortals above the crossing robbery can have the so dot called immortality. For Ling Yun, it seems that being shocked by Shui Yu is already the most normal thing, and Ling Yun has actually gained some understanding. No, this should be called an epiphany. Ling Yun, your idea is good. Having a special physique may indeed achieve longevity, but no one has achieved this. Do you know why? Ling Yun shook his head. Shui Yue patiently explained it again. The journey of cultivation is not always smooth sailing. Having a special foundation is one thing, and secondly, the difficulty one faces in reaching the realm of crossing tribulations is astonishing, which can easily attract jealousy from other cultivators. So, crossing the realm of calamity is as difficult as reaching the heavens for practitioners. A few hundred years of time can only satisfy a practitioner. Ling Yun was lost in thought, hesitating whether to tell his master about his essence and blood. After all, he has not been in this world for the first time, and in order to obtain information related to ancient essence and blood, he can only rely on his master, and can only trust him. After a struggle in his heart, Ling Yun finally made a decision. Master, there is a method that can help disciples have special roots and bones. Shui Yue couldn't help but stand up in surprise, her expression showing a rare loss of control. Are you serious about this? I dare not be at all false in what I say. This is also what I have come to understand in the Xianqing Dao, but the reason for it is special and I'm afraid I cannot share it with my master. Shui Yue, however, didn't care about these things. Her eyes were burning as she looked at Ling Yun. How can I help you as a teacher? 
just let me know. As for the reasons behind this, it is useless for a teacher to know. The foundation has extremely high requirements for age, and a teacher has already passed that age. If you really have a special bone, it's also a good thing for a teacher Ling Yun no longer hesitated and directly stated what he needed. Master, I need ancient essence and blood to help me refine my physical body, and then possess special roots and bones based on my own understanding. Upon hearing these words, Shui Yue immediately felt embarrassed. How could ancient essence and blood be obtained as long as they could be obtained? If you have the essence and blood of ancient mythical beasts' bloodline, perhaps there is still a chance. As a teacher, I remember that there is a spirit lord in Qinyan Gate, but it may not be possible to obtain its essence and blood. Ling Zuan Ling Yun is not unfamiliar with this existence. He remembers that it is the guardian beast of Qinyan sect. If you like this book, please provide more support and seek various options. Chapter 6 Tian Linger, Stop Talking You are listening at NovelFull.audio Indeed, Ling Zun possesses the bloodline of ancient ferocious beasts, which truly meets his needs. But as Master Shueyue said, this matter is simply impossible. At least, it's not that easy here in Ling Yun. At present, Ling Yun can only temporarily put this matter aside. The matter of Ling Zuan can only be tried again when there is a chance. Master, I want to go to Daju Peak. Is it feasible? Shui Yue glanced at Ling Yun and naturally knew what the disciple was thinking, so she nodded in agreement. Anyway, now that you have made rapid progress in cultivation, there is not much that a teacher can guide you. Since you plan to visit Daju Peak, you can go, but remember to come back. Ling Yun bowed and said, I'm leaving. After leaving the palace, Ling Yun made another trip to the bamboo forest in the back mountain and saw that Lu Sweki was still focused on cultivation. He then left and went straight to the Daju Peak. With the skill of imperial swordsmanship, Ling Yun quickly arrived at Daju Peak. The purpose of coming to Daju Peak is naturally to prepare to meet Zhang Xiaofan. Anyway, both of them are the only people in Samyo village who survived. According to his past life memories, Zhang Xiaofan should still be just an ordinary disciple, and his pace of cultivation is extremely slow. And this time inside, he may be able to help Zhang Xiaofan. As for Lin Jingyu, who has good talent and practices in places like Long's Ho Peak, there is no need for him to meddle in his affairs. As Ling Yun stepped on the sword in the void and arrived at Daju Peak, it quickly caught the attention of the people there. Song Daren stared blankly at the steady figure landing on the ground and wiped his eyes in disbelief. It was not until the young man in front of him showed a bright smile that he was convinced that he had indeed read correctly. How long has Ling Yun only entered Xiaozhu Peak before he can fly with his sword? You should know that this flying technique of the imperial sword was not achieved until he had practiced for several years. This gradually reminded him of rumors about the little bamboo bee. The newly appointed disciple Ling Yun has extraordinary talent. As soon as he arrived at Xiaozhu Peak, he had already mastered the art of imperial swordsmanship and is the first person in history. But Song Daren only treated this rumor as a joke. After all, how could there really be such a powerful person in this world? But now, upon seeing it, he had to believe it. Senior brother, I am Ling Yun from Xiaozhu Peak. I would like to meet Zhang Xiaofan. I wonder where he is. As Ling Yun's voice rang out, Song Daren finally regained his senses and quickly said. Xiaofan is in the bamboo forest behind the mountain, I'll take you there right away. Thank you, senior brother. Behind the mountain, amidst dense bamboo forests. Zhang Xiaofan was wearing a simple robe and resting against the bamboo, with a slightly pale complexion. Having been at Daju Peak for several months, he still can only sense the faint spiritual energy of heaven and earth, and cannot step into the true level of cultivation. Over the past few months, both his master Tian Bai and his senior brothers and sisters have never stopped teaching him cultivation, but he has never been able to reach that level. Life in Dazyufeng is almost the same for Zhang Xiaofan every day. 
chop the spirit bamboo, then go back and cook over the fire. Zhang Xiaofan has become accustomed to this kind of life. Although I want to practice, I have no choice but to have a dull talent. And his senior brothers and sisters also treated him extremely well, especially his senior sister, who loved him even more and treated him as if she were her own. At this moment, Zhang Xiaofan was suddenly hit on the forehead by something, and a sense of pain came. Zhang Xiaofan looked over and saw an apple rolling off the ground. A silver bell-like laughter came, and Tian Ling'er appeared in a pink dress, holding a big apple in her hand, looking at Zhang Xiaofan, who was feeling depressed at the moment with a smile on her face. Junior brother, have you finished chopping the bamboo? Zhang Xiaofan honestly picked up the apples on the ground, wiped them, and then nodded honestly. Senior sister, can you stop hitting me with apples all the time? It will make me stupid. Tian Ling'er looked even happier. You're so stupid, it's not because I hit your head with an apple, it's entirely because of yourself. Tian Ling'er's unintentional words did indeed strike Zhang Xiaofan's heart hard, causing him to look worried and lower his head. Upon seeing this, Tian Ling'er immediately realized that she had said the wrong thing. As she approached Zhang Xiaofan, she quickly handed out the apple in her hand. Okay, okay, senior sister, I shouldn't have said that. However, it's not that senior sister said you, how could you be so stupid? Do you know that Lin Jingyu and Ling Yun who came with you have already entered the level of cultivation, especially Ling Yun, I have heard that he has made rapid progress, much more powerful than Lu Sueki Zhang Xiaofan looked at his little senior sister helplessly. At this moment, he really hopes that this young senior sister won't speak anymore. These words were like sharp blades piercing into his heart. Noticing that Zhang Xiaofan's mood was even lower, Tian Linger wisely shifted the topic. Xiaofan, what delicious food are you going to make today? This is the topic that Tian Linger truly cares about. To say that my junior apprentice is not very skilled in cultivation, but he is definitely one of the best in cooking. Not only does she enjoy eating, but even her own father and mother do the same. At this moment, Zhang Xiaofan was completely lost in thought and had no mood to talk about cooking. He just lowered his head and nibbled on the apple in his hand. Tian Linger realized that what she said was a bit too much, even if she wanted to speak out to comfort her. Suddenly, she seemed to notice something and blinked her watery eyes towards the distance. Song Darren came with a strange figure. Oh, who is that person? Upon hearing the sound, Zhang Xiaofan lifted his head and looked in the direction that Tian Linger had said. Senior brother Song Darren, there was also someone else, Ling Yun. Zhang Xiaofan was overjoyed, and all the unpleasant moments he had just experienced were fleeting. He immediately ran over. Ling Yun. Tian Ling'er was slightly surprised and looked at Ling Yun carefully again. She had already heard of Ling Yun's name. Unexpectedly, Ling Yun was of similar age to them, and she became even more skeptical of rumors from the outside world. The two embraced each other, and their relationship was already good when Ling Yun and Zhang Xiaofan were in Samyo village. Song Darren had already left wisely. After a while of reminiscing, Ling Yun also noticed that Zhang Xiaofan's situation was similar to what he had read in books. Unable to practice, even the spiritual energy of the surrounding world cannot be absorbed. Among other peaks, such a person probably doesn't even deserve the qualification to be a servant disciple. There will also be Daju Peak, Tian Bai's mouth is full of tofu, and his wife is also kind-hearted. Otherwise, Zhang Xiaofan would have been arranged to leave Qingyun Gate long ago. Xiaofan, don't be discouraged either. In fact, your talent is not what it appears on the surface. Ling Yun immediately comforted. Zhang Xiaofan seemed to feel much better and nodded. Don't worry, I will still work hard in my cultivation. Chapter 7 Tian Ling'er's Oral Confidence you are listening at NovelFull.audio. And Ling Yun's purpose of coming to Daju Peak is not just to visit Zhang Xiaofan. He also wants to guide Zhang Xiaofan in his cultivation, 
so that he can quickly build a foundation and become a true practitioner. After all, if developed according to the content of the book, Zhang Xiaofan probably doesn't know when he can truly practice. Just as he was about to speak, a disharmonious voice came through. Hello, are you Ling Yun from Xiaozhu Peak? Upon hearing the sound, Ling Yun looked over and immediately guessed the identity of the girl when he saw the light figure approaching him. Tian Ling'er, the daughter of Tian Bai and also the junior sister of Zhang Xiaofan, is a talented disciple within Xiaozhu Peak. However, later on, it seemed that their relationship with Zhang Xiaofan gradually became distant. Senior Sister Tian Ling Yun politely bowed. Upon seeing Ling Yun resident bowing to her voluntarily, Tian Ling'er immediately raised her head and stood up against Xiong, revealing the appearance that a senior sister should have. I have long heard of Xia Xiufeng's Ling Yun talent and rapid progress in cultivation, so I plan to compete with you, senior brother Ling. Upon hearing this, Ling Yun only lightly touched his nose without any intention of agreeing. With his current cultivation level, he may be able to easily deal with Tian Ling'er with just one hand. On the side, Zhang Xiaofan hurriedly said, Senior sister, absolutely not. Master has said to prohibit fighting in Daju Peak. Tian Ling'er gave Zhang Xiaofan a fierce glance at this wooden lump. I clearly said this for the sake of growing up Jufeng's face. How could my dad know if he didn't say it? Zhang Xiaofan hesitated to speak, one was his childhood friend and the other was his senior sister, which made her momentarily unsure how to speak. Tian Ling'er took out a belt from her waist and confidently looked at Ling Yun, saying. Brother Ling, are you really afraid? Ling Yun smiled calmly and then looked at Zhang Xiaofan. Xiaofan, don't worry, I will show mercy. Zhang Xiaofan saw that he could no longer stop him, so he immediately headed towards the distance with wit. The battles between cultivators are not something that ordinary people can watch up close. Tian Ling'er did not immediately take action, but looked at Ling Yun and said, Ling, where is your sword? Ling Yun looked around and finally spotted a fallen bamboo branch, picking it up casually. Since it's a competition, there's no need for a sword. Having this bamboo branch is enough. In Tian Ling'er's eyes, these words were nothing more than looking down on her, which made her angry and embarrassed. She immediately waved her belt and killed her. I saw the originally soft belt wrapped in Tian Ling'er's spiritual energy, like a sharp sword, and the sound of breaking through the air came in waves. Ling Yun held the bamboo branch with one hand and easily resisted the attack of Tian Ling'er's belt, almost every time the belt fell, it was perfectly blocked by Ling Yun. Gradually, Tian Ling'er became even more anxious, and the attack immediately became more fierce, with a faint intention of taking Ling Yun's life. However, Lin Yun's figure was agile, not only easily avoiding Tian Ling'er's attack, but also able to repel the belt. After dozens of rounds in the blink of an eye, Tian Ling'er was already unable to hold on. On the other hand, Lin Yun remained effortless and completely relaxed. It is obvious that the other party did not exert all their strength from beginning to end. Zhang Xiaofan, who was not far away, looked at this scene with envy in his eyes. Looking back, Ling Yun and he worshipped Qin Yun Gate together. Although they entered different peaks, they could be considered as practicing together. But now, at first glance, Ling Yun has surpassed her junior sister Tian Linger in both talent and strength. And he has never been a match for Tian Linger. The gap between him and Ling Yun can be said to be huge, which gradually made him feel inferior, and even had thoughts in his heart that were not suitable for cultivation. Not coming, not coming. The sound of Tian Ling'er's defeat came, and she was already sweating profusely, panting and resting in place. At this moment, she had no intention of fighting anymore. Originally, she didn't believe the rumors about Ling Yun from the outside world, but now that she's in a fight, she has to believe it. Ling Yun, are you really from Saumya village? This made Tian Ling'er seriously suspect that Ling Yun was not from Tsaumyo village at all. Otherwise, why would the gap between the two be so big? 
Ling Yun also casually threw the bamboo branch onto the ground with a relaxed smile and said. Xiao Fan, Jing Yu, and I are all from Xiaomiao village. Sister Tian's strength is also good. Tian Ling'er snorted and rested for a moment before looking towards Zhang Xiaofan, who was even more depressed. For a moment, she didn't know how to comfort Zhang Xiaofan. Ling Yun also noticed that Zhang Xiaofan's mood was very low, and with a smile, he came to Zhang Xiaofan. Xiaofan, besides meeting you this time, there is one more thing I want to help you with your cultivation. Zhang Xiaofan lifted his head happily, but the light in his eyes disappeared in a flash. He gently shook his head and refused Ling Yun's kindness. No need, I know my talent myself. Neither my master nor my mother can help me. I'm not sure, as long as you can listen to my arrangements, I can definitely make you have a remarkable progress in your cultivation. The words finally made Zhang Xiaofan show his heart's desire, and he finally nodded in agreement. Tian Ling'er, who was not far away, couldn't help but feel a little tempted when she saw this. How strong Ling Yun is! She had a clear sense of it during the previous confrontation. If I could receive guidance from Ling Yun, maybe I could also make a breakthrough in my own strength. Brother Ling, I wonder if I can come together. With the shyness of a young girl, Tian Ling'er twisted and asked in a low voice. As long as senior sister is willing, it is naturally possible. Ling Yun did not refuse, no matter what, Tian Ling'er was not bad by nature, and she also helped Zhang Xiaofan. Subsequently, Ling Yun gave the Tai Chi Xianqing Taoism to the two of them. Tai Chi Xianqing Dao is not a secret technique within Qinyan sect, as long as it is a formal disciple of Qinyan sect, one can practice it. As for being able to cultivate to various levels, it all depends on the disciple's own talent. With Ling Yun's subtle explanation, Zhang Xiaofan seemed to have some understanding, so he sat cross-legged on the ground and began to try to gain some insight and practice. Tian Ling'er, who was already more talented than Zhang Xiaofan on the side, now has Ling Yun's careful guidance and immediately gained insight. As dusk approached in the blink of an eye, Ling Yun had already stood up and left. After all, he is not a disciple of Daju Peak and cannot stay overnight here. After nearly a day of practice, Zhang Xiaofan felt as if he could sense the spiritual energy of this world, and this progress surprised him even more. As for Tian Ling'er on the side, she has already made a breakthrough in her realm. Ling Jr. brother is really impressive. I didn't expect that with his help, this Tai Chi Xianqing Dao would be so easy. Tian Ling'er naturally knows the profound and pure way of Tai Chi, which is a type of martial arts that many disciples are unwilling to come into contact with, and the mysteries are too difficult for people to comprehend. Chapter 8 The Three-Eyed Monkey Comes and Goes, Seeking Flowers You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 8 Three-Eyed Spirit Monkey Appears, Seeking Flowers You are listening at NovelFull.audio When looking at Zhang Xiaofan, Tian Ling'er also suddenly noticed the change in Zhang Xiaofan himself, and was quite surprised. Xiaofan, can you already sense the spiritual energy of heaven and earth? Zhang Xiaofan shook his head in denial, but his face was already filled with joy. At present, we can only sense a small amount of heaven and earth spiritual energy, but it is much better than before. I think I should be able to enter true cultivation soon. Upon hearing these words, Tian Ling'er couldn't help but feel surprised. You should know that Zhang Xiaofan is just a wooden head in his cultivation, and his father's countless guidance has made it difficult for him to move forward. But now Ling Yun has only been here for less than a day, and Zhang Xiaofan's progress has already been like this. I'm afraid it won't be many days before Zhang Xiaofan can truly step into cultivation. For Ling Yun, Tian Ling'er couldn't help but have a deeper admiration in her heart, but more importantly, she has added a lot of favorable feelings. Ling Yun had already returned to the courtyard of Xia's Hufeng, and before he could enter, he was stopped by a voice. Brother Ling, where have you been? The person who came is Lu Sueki. 
Lin Yun did not conceal anything and directly revealed everything about going to Daizhu Peak. When she heard Tian Linger's name, a fleeting gloom appeared in Lu Suiki's eyes, but it was fleeting. Senior Brother Ling, it's getting late now. You should rest earlier too. After speaking, Lu Suiki turned around and left directly. Seeing this, Ling Yun didn't pay much attention and returned to the bamboo house to rest. In the following time, besides his own cultivation time, Ling Yun will go to Daju Peak to guide Zhang Xiaofan in his cultivation. As for the Taoist scriptures, he has no plans to teach them to Zhang Xiaofan at the moment. After all, Zhang Xiaofan today has no foundation in cultivation and is not yet suitable for practicing Taoist scriptures. Under the guidance of Ling Yun, in half a month, Zhang Xiaofan was finally able to accommodate the spiritual energy of heaven and earth and his body, transforming it into his own spiritual power, and successfully entered the first level of the Jade Clear Realm in the Xianqing Dao of Tai Chi. In terms of cultivation realm, it is stepping into the level of cultivating Qi. And such progress also makes it difficult for Tian to notice. In the bamboo forest of Dazyufeng, Tian Bai hid in the bamboo forest. Looking at Zhang Xiaofan, who was practicing cross-legged and meditating not far away, a thick spiritual energy wrapped around his body, and his own spiritual power was strong. Seeing this scene, Tian Bai was quite surprised. Initially, he thought that Zhang Xiaofan had no chance of entering the path of cultivation in this lifetime. I didn't expect that in just half a month, Zhang Xiaofan has already entered the level of qi cultivation. Although progress is slow, the talents possessed cannot be considered as geniuses. However, it's better than just being an ordinary person. Xiaozhu Peak, Ling Yun I didn't expect even me to take a wrong look back then. This kid is actually a talented person. Unfortunately, it's cheaper than junior sister Shue Yue. After speaking to himself, Tian Bai turned around and left. Ling Yun taught Tai Chi Xianqing Dao to Zhang Xiaofan and Tian Linger, but Tian Bai did not stop him. This is only beneficial for him and has no harm. Moreover, Ling Yun helped him accomplish things he couldn't do. Just this time, the head of the Zhu Feng may owe Xiao Zhu Feng a favor. Nowadays, Ling Yun is stuck on the ninth level of the Yuqing realm. According to the cultivation methods in the Taoist scriptures, he needs special roots and bones to take his own realm to the next level. Ancient essence and blood, this is what he currently needs the most. However, from the perspective of Ling Zuan, his current strength may not be enough. As for Lu Sueki, it may take several more years to cultivate to the ninth level of the Yuqing realm. Even if there is a Taoist scripture, there is no such insight as his, and a few years is already considered very short. Half a year has passed in the blink of an eye, during which Ling Yun has stabilized his own realm. The practice of imperial swordsmanship is also more proficient, and now it is easier to fly eight swords together. And Zhang Xiaofan has also successfully built the foundation and can now use the imperial sword technique, but can only control one sword. Compared to Zhang Xiaofan, Tian Linger is significantly superior, reaching the fifth level of the Jade Clear Realm and entering the middle stage of foundation construction. Zhang Xiaofan's progress also surprised Tian Linger. It seems that after contact with Ling Yun, Zhang Xiaofan's talent was completely stimulated. The sky is clear and sunny. In the bamboo forest, three people sat on stones, chatting and laughing while eating fruits. After spending more than half a year together, Ling Yun and Zhang Xiaofan have become closer and closer, and the three of them have become good friends who talk about everything. As for Lin Jingyu, Ling Yun also met twice during this period. Perhaps due to the Longzhou Peak, Lin Jingyu's temperament seems to be quite indifferent. However, there is no doubt about Lin Jingyu's talent, and without any shortcuts, he has entered the realm of the Golden Elixir. Brother Ling, I wonder what your future plans are. Tian Linger, who was sitting next to Ling Yun, curiously asked, her eyes filled with light. Zhang Xiaofan noticed behind the scenes and felt inexplicably unhappy, but he did not show it. 
After hearing this, Ling Yun just smiled disapprovingly and said, of course, it's to slay demons and eliminate demons, and uphold justice. Such words are naturally meant to deceive the second person. His true plan is to have a long life. However, in the eyes of outsiders, such plans for longevity may seem like a fantasy. Therefore, he did not directly express his true intention to the two of them. Tian Linger swayed her calves and said with longing. I want to be a wandering heroine and let everyone in the world know my name. Xiao Fan, what about you? Zhang Xiao Fan regained his senses and hesitated for a while before finally speaking seriously. I want to go back to Tsamyo village, build houses, and live inside. Alternatively, stay at Daju Peak and accompany your master and mother. Tian Linger was stunned for a moment, blinking her eyes as she looked at Zhang Xiaofan for a while before whispering softly. Isn't this my business? At this moment, a stone flew over and hit Tian Linger's forehead with precision and accuracy. Tian Linger, who was suffering from pain, immediately looked around and soon found the culprit. I saw a little monkey on the bamboo not far away, with a proud and imposing appearance. Tian Linger's forehead had turned red, and the pain made her already angry. Seeing the wild appearance of the monkey again now made Tian Linger even more furious. Where the hell did you come from? Let's see if my aunt doesn't kill you. After speaking, Tian Linger went straight to kill the monkey. Ling Yun couldn't help but smile when he saw the monkey, but he inexplicably felt familiar with it. How could he be so familiar with this monkey? Is this monkey a three-eyed spirit monkey? Tian Linger has already chased out, while the monkey has escaped into the bamboo forest. Zhang Xiaofan was worried because Tian Linger was heading towards the forbidden area of Daju Peak, Yogu. The valley is extremely dangerous, and there are rumors that there are countless fierce beasts in it. It is a place that all disciples of Daju Peak are not allowed to enter. If you like this book, please provide more support and seek fresh flowers. Chapter 9 Conquer the Three-Eyed Monkey and Find the Soul Mastering Staff You are listening at NovelFull.audio There are prohibitions in the valley, so ferocious beasts cannot leave the valley. However, if they enter the valley, there will definitely be danger. Ling Yun, I'm worried that senior sister Tian may be in danger. Why don't we go and take a look? Ling Yun immediately nodded in agreement. If he remembered correctly and added Zhang Xiaofan's worried expression, it was highly likely that Tian Linger was heading towards the forbidden area of Daju Peak and the location of the secluded valley. Okay, let's go take a look together. Until the edge of the valley, Ling Yun and Air finally caught up with Tian Linger. Tian Linger was already a bit tired, so she stopped to rest. However, not far away, the monkey's arrogant mockery could still be heard. Damn stinky monkey, I must kill you with my own hands. Seeing Tian Linger still going in, Zhang Xiaofan immediately stepped forward. Sister Tian, I'm with you. Tian Linger immediately nodded in response, rolled up her sleeves, and revealed her jade lotus-like arms, exuding a fierce aura. Okay, let's work together and we can definitely catch that stinky monkey. Just as the two were about to break in, Ling Yun spoke up and stopped them. Xiao Fan, senior sister Tian, there is a secluded valley ahead. If you break into it and encounter the fierce beast, you may be in danger of your life. Tian Linger naturally heard of the danger in the valley and had no intention of pursuing it. But she was not willing to let that stinky monkey escape like this. Helpless, she could only turn around and look at Ling Yun. What should we do? We can't really make that stinky monkey so arrogant, can we? Ling Yun pondered for a moment, showing some interest in the three-eyed monkey. Moreover, the three-eyed spirit monkey seems to be the bloodline of ancient spirit monkeys, perhaps just the essence and blood he needs. Originally, this was a chance for Zhang Xiaofan, but now it belongs to him, Ling Yun. Your two cultivation is not as good as mine, I will definitely be able to catch that monkey when I go in. Even if I encounter a fierce beast, with my current strength, 
I can definitely easily solve it after giving each other a glance, Tian Ling'er and Zhang Xiaofan nodded in agreement. As Ling Yun left, Tian Ling'er instinctively reached out and grabbed Ling Yun's right hand. The touch came, causing Ling Yun to be slightly stunned. I saw Tian Ling'er nibbling on her pink lips with a shy expression on her face. Brother Ling, be careful. We'll wait for you outside. Then, he released his hand. Ling Yun nodded in response and then headed straight towards the direction of the monkey's mocking voice. After seeing Ling Yun's figure disappear completely, Tian Ling'er withdrew her gaze and the worry on her face remained lingering for a long time. And Tian Ling'er's actions deepened the discomfort in Zhang Xiaofan's heart. Does senior sister Tian like Ling Yun? The forest is scattered throughout the valley, but it feels like it doesn't belong to Daju Peak. Ling Yun's figure was extremely fast, but in an instant, he had already found the figure of the three-eyed spirit monkey. On the branch, I saw the monkey with gray fur all over its body, chirping and mocking at the moment, occasionally making a face at Ling Yun and being extremely arrogant. Three-eyed spirit monkey. However, this three-eyed spirit monkey is slightly smaller in size compared to ordinary monkeys, but it looks very exciting. Seeing someone really chasing after him, the three-eyed monkey was taken aback for a moment and immediately fled into the forest. Ling Yun smiled and naturally wouldn't let go of the three-eyed monkey, so he quickly chased after him. Ling Yun's figure was so fast that in an instant, he came behind the three-eyed spirit monkey. This made the three-eyed monkey even more panicked, but before it could escape, it was grabbed by Ling Yun, who had already jumped into the air, and forcefully pulled down from the branch. Contact the three-eyed monkey, trigger the heavenly understanding, and obtain the beast language, what Ling Yun didn't expect was that this could also trigger the supernatural intelligence. The three-eyed spirit monkey chattered and struggled non-stop. With the trigger of intelligence, the call of the three-eyed spirit monkey became a comprehensible language in Ling Yun's ears. Big brother, please let me go. I know I was wrong. This made Ling Yun couldn't help but laugh, not expecting these three-eyed spirit monkeys to be so greedy and afraid of death. What good would it be for me to let you go? The call of the three-eyed spirit monkey suddenly came to an end, with a hint of amazement in all three eyes, as if it was unexpected that the young man in front of him could understand his words. Can you understand what I'm saying? Of course I can understand, are you afraid? The three-eyed spirit monkey quickly shook its head to deny, and then said again. As long as you let me go, I can take you to find the treasure. Upon hearing this, Lin Yun instantly knew what the treasure in the mouth of the three-eyed monkey was. Why should I believe you? Big brother, my life is in your hands, I dare not lie to you. The three-eyed spirit monkey begged for mercy again, and Lin Yun didn't continue to tease the spirit monkey, so he let it go. You can choose to continue running, but you know my strength, you can't escape from my five-finger mountain. If you don't believe me, you can give it a try, but if I catch you again, it's hard to say if you can survive. Upon hearing this, the three-eyed spirit monkey couldn't help but shiver all over and quickly said. Don't worry, big brother. I won't escape. Big brother, come with me. I'll take you to find the treasure now. So Ling Yun followed behind the three-eyed monkey and headed towards the depths of the valley. Deep in the valley, at the edge of a quiet pool. Ling Yun followed the three-eyed spirit monkey to this place, looking at the bottomless water pool in front of him. Ling Yun was even more certain that the treasure among them must be the sole mastering staff. The pool in front of me is not large, it seems to be formed by an underground spring. The water surface is calm, and there are many stones piled up around it. Big brother, the baby I mentioned is right below here. The three-eyed monkey on the side reminded. Ling Yun nodded, immediately took off his clothes, and then jumped directly into the pool. The pond water is like piercing cold ice, and Ling Yun can only use spiritual power for defense. As he delved deeper into the pool, all he could see gradually blurred, and soon he finally saw the Dementor staff in Tan Di. The diving speed increased, and Ling Yun, 
who arrived at Tan Di, grabbed the soul mastering staff. In an instant, a terrifying aura surged in. A blood colored aura surged around the soul mastering staff, and the aura seemed to be attempting to forcefully break into Ling Yun's body. However, Ling Yun quickly activated his spiritual power around him, isolating this breath from the outside. One person and one stick seemed to be competing, and many evil thoughts flooded into Ling Yun's mind at this moment. Fortunately, Ling Yun's strength is extraordinary now, and his heart is even more determined. After struggling for a moment, the soul mastering staff has completely calmed down. After confirming that there was no abnormality with the soul mastering stick in his hand, Ling Yun swam towards Tan Mian with the soul mastering stick. At the edge of the pond, the three eyed spirit monkey appeared extremely anxious. Because, in its understanding, a human cannot stay in water for too long, otherwise, they will die. And my elder brother has been in the water for a long time, and now there is no intention of coming up. Is it difficult to believe that my elder brother really died? 